Hello everybody, I'm Olivia and I'm the Administrator for the Ministry of Eco-Education. Today I'm going to be talking through another of our schemes of learning, part of the food topic. This one is titled, Where Should We Get Our Food From? And it sort of reflects on some of the topics and ideas brought up in the Should We All Go Vegan food for, uh, scheme of learning, um, but kind of delves deeper into yeah, where our food comes from and should we be sourcing our food differently? I'm going to share with you our scheme of learning now and we'll go through it together. Hopefully you can all see that on the screen now. So as I said, the scheme of learning is titled, Where Should We Get Our Food? As with all our schemes of learning, there are eight lessons available, but it's entirely up to you as to whether you choose to teach all eight lessons, whether you sort of pick and choose, um, they're ordered in a certain way, but you can um, reorder them. It's completely up to you and they're very flexible. The key concept in this scheme of learning is discussing the human nature relationship. Um, and all of our schemes of learning have a recommended key text. If you know of one that um, you would prefer to use, please go ahead. But we've chosen The World Came to My Place Today. And I actually have a copy of that in front of me. Uh, I used to read this book as a child and I really loved it. It was super visual and it basically explored different um, things we use in every day. Anything from tomato soup to toothpaste to thinking about the rubber in our tyres on our bicycles. Um, and yeah, it explores where things come from um, and kind of introduces the idea of we can't source everything locally. So we need to consider what we're using and sort of the um, distance that's had to come for us to be able to use it. So it's a really lovely book um, and I highly recommend it. Um, the scheme of learning is aimed at key stage one, however, all the topics and all the resources could be um, adapted to suit key stage two learners. Um, and the main assessment for this scheme of learning is a debate. So um, at the end of all the lessons, the uh, learners will engage in a debate uh, discussing some of the key things they've learned. Um, and the scheme of learning links to a variety of different national curriculum subjects. Um, and we've actually broken down each of these subjects and exactly where it meets the national curriculum, um, which should help you justify you know, why you're teaching this lesson or the series of lessons. Um, I'll just open that document up now so I can give you a little read of exactly what it covers. So the English component uh, covers spoken language, um, as the learners will be engaging in debate. The science element discusses animals, including humans, uh, where learners will describe the basic needs of humans um, in that they need food specifically. Um, and it will also explore the different types of food um, and the right amounts of food that we need to survive. And then similarly, in the PSHE and DT curriculums, you are expected to explore healthy eating and uh, cooking and nutrition. And including in that is understanding where food comes from. So this is really a perfect scheme of learning to cover that element of the DT curriculum. And then moving on to the key ideas. So the scheme of learning will address how food provides fuel for our bodies to be able to function. Uh, the environmental impact of the food we currently eat, and also comparing diets um, across the world. So the first scheme of learning, uh, sorry, the first lesson looks at why do we need food? And all of our lessons are based around inquiry questions, much like the broader um, scheme of learning. So the first one, why do we need food? introduces the eat well guide and if you're not familiar with that it's basically the plate um, that breaks down all the different types of uh, nutrition that we need in our diet so um, that's carbohydrates dairy protein fruit and veg fats etc so the learners will explore the eat well guide 
um, we've suggested doing a food sorting activity. So after you've introduced the Eat Well Guide and the different types of food, um, they could have a go at matching the different types of food with the, um, you know, what food group they belong to. Um, we've also linked to Food of Facts of Life's presentation, which introduces the importance of food for the human body. Um, and Food of Facts of Life have loads of really fantastic resources all about food and nutrition. Um, and then finally, we've suggested getting in contact with TasteEd, which is a free scheme that introduces um, interesting fruit and vegetables uh, that the children might not have ever tried before. Um, and also uh, ha they have a lot of different resources as well. Um, these are free, just have to sign up to the programme. So we definitely recommend TasteEd. Our second lesson, how has food changed over time? So we've suggested looking at a brief clip which explores food right the way from the 1980s up to the current day. Um, it's a really visual and an amazing video and it shows how food used to be very fresh uh, and has become very processed over time. Um, and then also as well as the processedness is the increase in plastic packaging um, and also um, we're encouraging learners to explore recycling um, recyclable packaging versus you know the single use throw plastic packaging and the young people's trust have brilliant environmental resources to explore this issue with your learners or pupils third lesson what do most people eat so we've sort of suggested exploring some statistics around the commonly eaten foods um, the nutritional value that each of these foods provides and how uh, the carbon footprint differs for each food. And this may seem like a very complicated concept, but you can really break it down um, and make it accessible to uh, at key stage one level. Um, and it provides a really interesting grounding for the kind of choices we can make in what we eat for ourselves and for the planet. And then um, reflecting back on uh, what veganism is. So you could pull a few lessons um, or resources from our uh, uh, scheme of learning about veganism um, and draw upon this during this lesson. Um, lesson four, where does my food come from? Um, you could reflect back on our key texts, pulling out some of the um, foods and items introduced and make a fact file for each of these. So kind of linking where it comes from in the world, whether we think that could be something we could grow here or source here. Um, and then you could address uh, how climate change is affecting farmers, which is affecting um, the food that they can eat and the food that we can eat as well. Uh, and then um, quite a fun resource from the from fair trade is um, mapping the journey of chocolate and how chocolate is grown and then imported over into our country. Um, and also links quite nicely to the key text as well, which I believe discusses chocolate. Um, lesson five is what's the impact of my diet? Uh, we've suggested comparing a day in the life of a child from Sierra Leone with a day in the life of your own pupils to show how our diets might differ and how we source our food. Um, and then our lesson six is, should we eat insects? Which is a really interesting question. Um, we found a TED Ed video which discusses whether we should eat bugs or not. And um, on that link as well is some suggestions of other resources that can accompany this video. Um, and then we wanted to introduce the idea that in some cultures, eating insects is a delicacy and has been a long lived tradition. Uh, so we've linked a video of an Aboriginal Australian boy who goes out with his family into the bush um, and does sort of um, bush tucker investigation and tries a witchy grub for the first time. And you kind of get to explore um, the emotions he's feeling through that experience. Um, and yeah, we think that's a really lovely video to introduce that topic. Lesson seven, how can we eat more sustainably? Um, so not only thinking about where our food is sourced um, and how we can source more locally grown food in our diets, 
but also thinking about food waste um, and how that's a massive problem um, in terms of sustainability. Uh, and we've linked to a Young People's Trust resource again there um, to explore the issue of food waste. And then finally, considering all these different things that the learners or children have um, learned about through the scheme of learning, we encourage um, you to kind of reflect on all of this through a debate um, and meeting those um, spoken language targets. Um, yeah, so that's our scheme of learning summarised. Um, I really hope you found this video useful and um, we do encourage everybody to um, reflect on how their teaching went. Um, please write comments for other people to have a look at um, and they can suggest what worked well or any other ideas they've come up with uh, whilst teaching these lessons. Um, we, yeah, we encourage a collaborative approach here um, and it's a friendly space and we really would appreciate any feedback or any recommendations you guys have found. Um, yeah, so thank you very much for watching. Um, stay tuned because we will be making more of these videos explaining our schemes of learning. And yeah, thank you very much.